Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is the third video that I've done um, today. Um, practically, again, picking back up where I left off with other videos, etc. By the way, shout out God bless to all my other friends that I know are YouTubers in some type of way. God bless y'all on continuously creating the utmost um, innovative peer and clean content you can on your hobby and etc. That's going to help promote you and your brand and etc. That's going to promote you to God speed at the end of the day. You know. So forth and so forth. So once again, I have a lot of other songs coming that has to do with me singing. I'm a legend has practically it's a really good mixture of both rapping and singing but definitely the beginning i'm singing i'm a legend you know and again i'm unashamed about that verse i'm i'm the, my top three uh, favorite verses from that song even though i already filmed the video i just haven't really uploaded it yet i don't think uh my top three favorite verses from that song is um when i'm talking about uh, i'm a legend through jesus christ at which who strengthens me and he's the only one that can end me or the only one that will end me I think I said only one that can in me. It was that one and my shout out to Palm Valley Academy that I loved. And uh, the third one was the school supplies towards the outro. Those are the three verses, my three favorite verses of my of my I'm a Legend song. Again, I've already made other Legend songs before, but this is the latest one to date. And I'm so very pleased that I got Liz Thompson as the cover of it, number one. And then two, I'm very pleased that it's a part of the women's and no, no, sorry. The International Women's Day album. So forth and so forth. It's very much a blessing. It's an honor. And I definitely look forward to completing the entire album. And again, marketing and promoting it and see where it goes. Like I said before in the other video that I also just posted about an hour or two ago, I'm a big women's empowerment advocate. And if you haven't, if you haven't gotten that by now, I mean, God knows. I mean, I've make all the songs for women for the uh, women for a reason you know and you know i try to share the love as equally as i can amongst my brothers as well but at times it does get misconstrued and at times it doesn't equal out but again like i said in the other video that i also just posted you have to be patient it's the art of patience ladies and gentlemen it's the art of patience you know i definitely try to record as god first often as i can like i said before i can knock out 20 songs in one night but at the same time, you got to be still patient with me because I can knock out 20 songs. But that doesn't mean any of those 20 songs are about you. You know, that it could be about other things, you know, other other cases, other causes. Uh, again, a school. It could be about a school, you know. And again, if I'm not mistaken, I promoted St. John's County in the song I'm a Legend. So once again, St. John's County, rep in. That's me, your ambassador, NJ, to the city. And again, I'm the only one claiming that. So it's like by default, it's all this guy. It's all me. That's me. <laughs> But uh, again, I guess to pick back up where I left off with the unpopular opinions uh, dialogue and uh, and catalog, um, ladies and gentlemen, one of the top biggest things, especially amongst the youth, I really want the parents, the grandparents, the uncles, and corely the youth to realize is that there's a lot of unpopular opinions out there, a heck of a lot, and just like with the ep with the episodes and the series, the fine line, I definitely am trying to let y'all know. You have to, especially in today's day and age, you have, if you want to help heal this culture, heal it towards it's Jesus Christ salvation better tomorrow, you need to be willing to, if you are, you need to be willing to try to find your voice on some of these issues. I'm not saying everybody has to speak up, but I'm definitely saying out of five, at least a good three need to speak up. Come on. And a lot of us, because here's the thing, a lot of us run our mouth about a lot of other things that are complete nonsense. Again, I've experienced it. You know, a lot of us run our mouths about a lot of nonsense. Why don't you run your mouth about some real stuff that's going to help, help heal you, heal your neighborhood, heal your culture, heal, his, heal, heal, heal your family, and etc. You know, and that's just, again, that's real. Like, ladies and gentlemen, in today's day and age, more than ever. Another thing I want to discuss, we have so many false prophets. God bless religion. God bless faith. Big advocates of both of those. But I'm not going to lie. In today's day and age, we have a lot of false prophets out there. A lot of them. I'm going to expose some of them in some of my new music. Because I'm absolutely disgusted and tired of their bigotry. It's absolutely horrifying. How much of bigots so many of them are. Like, are you kidding me? That's, that's, what, that's what you stand up for? It's quite amazing. Their bigotry. 
their one sidings, their, their double standards. It's quite amazing. So forth and so forth. In today's day and age, ladies and gentlemen, again, we live in a day and age where you need to learn how to find your voice. At least out of five, three need to learn how to find their voice and speak up for themselves, their culture, the family, their community. They need to. And especially with the world of politics, we want to blame so much on this person, that person who's in that upper echelon, I guess you could say. That's, I guess, a word for it. You know, those higher levels of political empowerment in terms of signing and writing this bill. You know how many issues that we can solve every single day without writing writing and signing a, a bill into, into into law? You know how many issues that we can solve every single day by by not the stroke of a pen? Or if it's a stroke of a pen, it's something that, again, is right there at your own individual desk. You can write papers. You can do, again, you can do blogs. You can write books. There's just so many vices to help heal this culture. And I'm telling you, again, this really goes out to everybody. You have to decide... Which one do you want to be on? Which angle, which line do you want to be on? Because especially to, to the youth, my entire existence is definitely for you with this matter of literally, you know, God first, woman says not shame on this. Try everything you can to be on the side that helps heal this culture, not drag it further and further down, you know, to just complete the, I don't really want to say the, you know, the D word that ends with an N and it's, you know, it's biblical. The term I'm going to use there is biblical, by the way, just let everybody know. I don't really want to use that term in this, but you get the point, or I hope y'all get the point. You know, you got to decide which 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 one you want to be a part of. There's so many things that, for example, like, God bless life and assistance to Greenwood, Mississippi. I got to bless my brother TJ, who, again, was telling me, like, man, if that grass, if the overflow in that grass is so... Uh, uh, I'm only detrimental to me or important to me. Then why don't you go grab that lawnmower that's right in the back since you keep talking about mowing some lawns and you go around and at least mow one lawn. You know, stuff like that. You know, I'm not saying I did it, you know, because I did not do it because my plan for that project is an independent thing, which pretty much means it's like saying, um, which pretty much says like I want my own supplies. I don't want to borrow someone else's. Not to say I couldn't, not to say I shouldn't. I mean, I'm Definitely should have done that, but that's just definitely not where my own mentality was at that very moment in that very day. But again, forgive me if a lot of you now hear that and are being like, you're double standard your own self and you're not qualified to talk to me. But guess what? There's a lot of people that are not qualified to talk to you, but probably can give you better advice than some of the people you trust dearly or something in that manner. And I say that to say, there's a lot, I, and I say that to say, I'm not qualified to talk on a lot of things. A lot of things, especially parenting. I'm not qualified to talk on it because I'm not a parent of my own self. But I see the errors that a lot of parents make daily in the growth and development of their kids. I see it daily. I hear about it daily. And I'm thinking to myself, you couldn't have done better here. You didn't know better there. Why didn't you do this? Why didn't you say that? And et cetera. When you don't, again, I, and I've seen those billboards around Mississippi. God bless Mississippi, by the way. I've seen those billboards around Mississippi, you know, about every child is, deserves to be, um, I think nurtured and, and shared, or well, not n not n nurtured and shared. But it was it was something. I think grow up loved. I think grow it was to grow up loved and carefree or something like that. You know, and it was something like that. I'll probably have to film another video, definitely on my iPad, and you know, show y'all the um. If I, I think I took a picture of the, the billboard, but the the definitely point there is that that's one of the top things I can see a lot of parents. They have their negative, rough ways of showing that to their kids. And again, a lot of kids, if you were to ask me, you know, again, not every kid definitely is the, the same. You know, a lot of kids, if not all kids, are all unique and have their own different sets of talents, traits, skills, and et cetera, you know. And a lot of one of the top things that a lot of, of, of us struggle with in, in, in accepting, especially in terms of styles of parenting, one one style of parenting for one kid might not work for the next, you know, and so forth and so forth. Like, God bless parenting, but again, I have seen it. I've been alive 20 years. The Lord ain't blessed me. The Lord has not blessed me 20 years for nothing. The evidence proves it. A lot of methods of parenting are completely biased. They're double standard. They're wrong. They're, 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 they're just filled with garbage left and right. And then you wonder why your kid grows up negatively angry at the world. 
or negatively angry at you or whatever else you know words you words you want to put there again in certain cases this is unpopular opinions but ladies and gentlemen the facts and evidence are there to back it up that's why i said before you need to try what you can to seek out as many god first sources as you can for help in your job of parenting because I do believe if more parents got it right, if more parents got it right, we wouldn't have all these negative epidemics that we have literally left, left and right of overdoses and et cetera, you know? And like I say, I'm, again, I'm here as a voice. I'm here to try to be a leader towards everybody's Jesus Christ salvation better tomorrow. I say that because I know that truly when you start loving thy neighbor as thyself, that ends racism right there. And there's so many groups that want to use, that want to negatively twist the Bible and make it seem like racism is appropriate and right. And, you know, and that, and when it comes to the, the dominant race factor and stuff like that. And I'm just listening to them and I'm like, are you literally kidding me right now? And you wonder why there's a race war out there. And you wonder why, because you're fueling it. Again. God bless faith, God bless religion, but like I said before, there's a lot of false prophets out there and you guys really need to be very, very cautious and aware. And especially when in terms of the music that your kids listen to, I'm not saying that you know you have to put parental, parental controls on everything your kids do, because that's another thing that again, a lot of parents, you know, it's a little tricky slip slope there, you know, but as well, um, I'm definitely saying that, um, you have to listen to whatever music you listen to, but definitely explicit music. You have to listen to it. I mean, negatively explicit music with curse words and all this other stuff. You need to listen to it with the sermon, spiritual discernment of the Bible and who Christ is and what true morals, values, and et cetera is. Because if you do not, then you definitely, and I, this is, again, all biblical as well. If you don't, you allow the devil to come in and definitely rework your mind. You know, and make you think that what is a that that what is, uh, you know, of him is right when it's not. Again, it's literally all biblical. You don't like if you don't want to take my word for it. There's like scriptures over and over and over again about the spiritual warfare which we live in. This is not a. This, I'm telling you on the surface. On the surface, the devil wants to blind every last one of us to make us think it's a race war. It's not a race war. Or I mean, like the, the the truth of what um, it's like on the surface, it's a race war. But when you look into the spiritual realm, where again, you know, everybody goes when they die. And again, you're gonna have to have a conversation with your kids about that someday, and etc. It's about heaven versus hell. It's about God versus Satan. You know, God wants you to love thy neighbor as thyself. The devil is the one that wants you to keep putting race into everything and wants to make you think that there's just, you know, you know, one dominant race here, one dominant race there. And I mean, when I say one dominant race, I'm talking about purely based upon your skin color versus your ideologies and et cetera. And, and et cetera. You know, again, if anybody has any, you know, any of their own knowledge there, again, you can use your own discernment on that. But I'm definitely telling you, the evidence is there, ladies and gentlemen. It is literally there. And again, it's reasons like this why people tell me, Nate, you should be a motivational speaker or a pastor because I've literally broken a lot of this stuff down. I, God ain't blessed me 20 years of life for nothing. So literally quote me on that. Whether you like me, you hate me, etc. Quote me on that. The Lord has not blessed me 20 years of life for nothing. I'm making these music, these these vids right now for a reason. I'm tired of people's one-sided, double-standard, two-faced bigotry. I'm absolutely tired of it. And then you wonder why this culture is is in the negative flux of which is in. What I said, flux, by the way, that is in. On the, on the surface, the devil wants to 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 wants you to believe that it's all about race. When no, if you love thy neighbor as thyself, as God wants you to do, as Jesus commanded. That literally ends the race war right then and there. Think about it. It really is a two plus two equation. So once again, take care, ladies and gentlemen. I do not know if I'll go into another video of this, you know, right after the next or right after this. But if I don't, I don't. You know, I got more coming soon. Peace. Your boy, the man, NJ number two, the city, out.